Hi friends, it's Anne here, and today's video is my fourth update for my nail polish project pan for 2021. Yes, I am doing nail polish project pan. It's going. Um, actually, this update is going to be better than the last update. The last update was, was pretty sad, but we do have some progress to actually show, and I'm feeling like for the rest of the year, this project, like there, there is, it's gonna be better. We're gonna get back on track with this one. I've been kind of out of doing my nails. I've done my nails today. I actually have a different color on my toenails. Anyway, let's just get into the items. So let's talk about the things I haven't used at all, just to get them out of the way. I have not used these two polishes. So they're both Julep polishes. I wanna say this one's Octavia and this one's Lorraine. I'm totally guessing. <sighs> I'm amazing. I have a really good memory on some random things that are not important. But ask me something that's important to remember? Will not happen. So yeah, I haven't used these two at all since the last update. I haven't used them at all since the update before that even. So there's no progress on those. This is the Julep Oxygen Treatment. So I have some progress on this. I was able to draw a new line on this. A little bit of progress. This is something that I think I can make a lot more progress. Will I finish this? I'm not sure, but I think I can make better progress on this going forward. I just, over the summer, was not really into regularly doing my nails. Like I was doing my nails, but not often. Um, this is what I have on my toenails right now. This is Julep in Alfie. And I wasn't able to draw a new line on it. So that's the line from last time. But I do have this, you can see it's ever so slightly below that line. I do have this on my toes right now. I actually need to do another coat. Um, so I wanna use this at least one more time. So I definitely think I will have more progress on this on the next update. This is one that I think I can finish um, by the end of the year. I'm really gonna try anyway. And this is what I have on my nails right now. This is the H&M Polish in Rock Oyster. Again, I wasn't able to use enough to draw a new line. Well, I kind of shook it up too, so it's like, uh, I don't, I don't know if there's, it's below that or not. Um, but I do have this on my nails right now, so that's the color you see um, with this on top. So this was, this was my lip gloss. <laughs> I kept going at my my lip gloss of nail polishes. So Sally Hansen Complete Manicure in the shade Gleam Supreme. So it's like a white-ish shimmer. That's not part of the project plan. Just wanted to let you know that that was in there. This is what I've been putting on my toenails pretty much all summer. I, I am done with this color. <laughs> um, this is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in 320 Fuchsia Power. And yeah, I was able to draw a new line. I did not make my goal. I was trying to get down to the X. I am now just below the Sally Hansen word at the top. So... I did not use a whole lot of this, but I used this like, this was the only nail polish I used on my toes since the last update of this project. So whenever that was, like two months ago, um, as I'm doing this like every other month updates. So yeah, I'm done with this. This like won't have any more progress on this. I doubt I will use this again before the end of the year, but I mean, it's still in the project. I'm not, I'm not getting rid of it, um, but it is what it is. It's... I've used it, I like it, like I love it on my toes. I think it's really, really pretty, but it's like, I'm over it, I've moved on. Um, so yeah, I have, I think I mentioned I have this on my toes right now. And then, we actually have a finished polish. Yay, <laughs> save the best for last, um, which I am kind of sad about. This is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails in Simply Strawberry, and you can kind of see there's a little bit of product at the bottom. I can barely get that out. I was thinking about putting a bit of like thinner in there, but it just was not happening. Um, I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just end it. Let's end it here. I really like this color. I don't think you can get it anymore, uh, which makes me a little sad. But I am happy that I actually finished a polish this year. And this one was like that first line at the top was from 2018. I'm pretty sure I had this in a project in my first year of being on YouTube. So. <laughs> Yay, I finished polish. It only took three years. Three years? I can't do math. Yes, it's been three years since 2018. Anybody else still feel like, because 2020 was like a non-year, like it's hard to like, time just is weird. 
anyway, yeah, actual progress on this project. I feel like next update will also be good. I'm definitely like getting back into using like these polishes, the deep, deeper, darker colors for fall and winter coming up. Um, and I do like having this one in because it sort of like balances out like all the color. Uh, yeah, so that's my update. So not nearly as bad as last time. I kept talking about how last time I wanted to keep doing this project even though the last update was pretty wah wah and like really wasn't into doing my nails. But I just wanted to be keep it real basically. Like that's what happens with just using our products and project pans and where we're at. Um, don't know if I'll do this project next year. Really sorry if you can hear noise. There's I, I try and film when it's a bit quieter, but it feels like it's busier, like or there's a lot of more people at home like, after work. And I think people are going to the office now and then I feel like it's noisier and like even my internet, <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but I noticed my internet is not as good right after work. It's like people are coming home or it could be, I have the sneaking suspicion that my internet is not very good around like end of work day because people are driving home and I live in an area where like you know, there's a lot of cars and stuff, so I feel like everybody's got their cell phones and it's like maybe clogging the network a little bit. Totally being like <laughs> conspiracy theory there, but it could be true. I, I noticed it like as of like the last probably month or so, like, and that's when people have been going back to work uh, a bit more regularly uh, downtown Toronto. So I live in Toronto, if you didn't know. Anyway. That's my little update, total tangent on traffic, <laughs> traffic news and weather report at six. <laughs> I would be a horrible newscaster. I would mess up all the time. Anyway, that's my update. I think it was a good update. I feel like it was a good update. If you liked it, feel free to give a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you did subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.